Hello everyone, my name is Clara and this is Recipes with Clara, a channel where we give you recipes that are workable, doable at home to enhance your hospitality. And today we have another one of the delights. We are making samosa filling and this is the filling that we used to make our samosas. And so check in the description for the recipe, the full recipe for making samosas. But now we are just doing the samosa filling with beef and we and please join us for this very tasty uh, recipe and so as is always our custom we want to pray so that the giver of creativity will make this process a joy a delight a blessing for you we trust you father to be with us grant us your fruitfulness grant the viewers your fruitfulness and glorify your name through this process in jesus name amen Get to our ingredients we have about half a kilogram of minced meat right there our beef we have about a cup of spring onion that has been cut up you can do even more than that we have a few spices you can use your spices or this can be optional but I am using a teaspoon of paprika a teaspoon of beef masala and I am using three quarter teaspoon of salt I have about a teaspoon of fresh garlic and then I have some coriander right there it's probably three or so tablespoons three to four and then I have a large onion that has been cut up we will use about two to three tablespoons of salad oil to fry our beef filling so we will begin to fry our onion our red onion when it's just getting to a light golden brown we will put in our garlic so it's just about to start getting to a, a light golden brown so i'll put in the garlic i've been stirring continually so that the onions cook evenly and so i'll keep stirring so that just before they turn i will put in the spices so they're just starting to turn a golden brown light so i will put in my spices at this point you can also put in um, chili or pili uh, pili and now because we have children we will not do that so let me just allow the spices to cook for a few seconds and to mix in well with the onion and now i spoon in the meat the minced beef and then uh, keep turning it because minced meat tends to, to form a form up so we need to start so that it separates and cook and reducing the fire slightly to do that so just keep turning until it's uh, cooking well yeah so i've brought the fire up again uh, and then i will allow it to cook for a few minutes because we need to have them the, the water in the meat eventually dry out so i'll, I'll cover but keep uh, opening after every other minute and stir so that it doesn't uh, keep forming the lumps uh, to keep it separated uh, until all the water is out so the water has dried out but please make sure i'm lowering the heat because you want to make sure the meat doesn't burn uh, it's just kind of dry not fully dry but dry so at this point we will put in our uh, coriander or dania and we will also put in our spring onion I like to taste this in the samosa, that's why I put them last. So just uh, stir them in until they are fully stirred in. 
and uh, they will be done but just uh, make sure they are evenly stirred in so that you can see them everywhere that's why if i had even more spring onion i would probably put more than just the cup i did so i like that green and so basically we are done we are done with making our filling and so get to our recipe for making the samosas and i'm sure you will enjoy your samosas so i will just cover and put the fire off so thank you for joining us as we did that samosa filling recipe and uh, please consider subscribing for more simple to do recipes like the one we've just done consider sharing this and subscribing and please look out for our full recipe for making your samosas and so thank you for joining us and from us it is bye